After a plane crash, a formerly successful soccer team wrestles with survival on an island with limited resources. After winning the FIFA World Cup match against Brazil, the US soccer team, Coach Defoe, his wife and daughters Elena and Eva board a plane back home. Nearby, assistant team captain Andreas lightens the mood by humorously expressing his opposition to using protection, eliciting laughter from his teammates. After the plane takes off, the team captain, Slim, scared of heights, casually unbuttons his shirt to feel more comfortable. Beside him, Andrea suggests that he close his eyes and nap, assuring him he'll wake him up upon landing. Slim acknowledges the advice but excuses himself to use the restroom. When the team captain leaves, Georgie sits beside his brother Andreas and expresses disappointment that the article about their soccer team only highlights Felix and Slim. However, the co-captain explains to him that it's not a big deal. Exiting the bathroom, Slim runs into Elena, the coach's daughter, and has a flirtatious exchange with her. As he heads to his seat, the team captain checks in with Kenefic, the team's benchwarmer, regarding Monday's practice, and the backup player confirms that he'll be there. While Slim is walking, the plane unexpectedly shakes, causing him to lose balance. Recognizing his discomfort, Connie, their trainer, invites him to sit beside him, expressing concern for Slim's condition. In response, the man provides the soccer player with medication to help him relax, and he immediately takes it. After returning to his seat, Slim secures his seatbelt and naps. Suddenly, he wakes up to the jolt of their plane crashing into the sea. In an instant, he loses consciousness and sinks into the water while still strapped to his seat. Luckily, Andreas rescues the team captain, bringing him to a nearby tropical tropical island. Upon regaining consciousness, the soccer player observes the plane's wreckage and witnesses everyone's struggle for survival. On the initial day of being stranded, Andreas tells Connie that 22 passengers have passed away, including Coach Defoe and his wife. The co-captain then conducts a headcount, confirming 15 survivors. Later, the group organizes the pieces of luggage discovered on the sand, scavenging for resources. Suddenly, Georgie spots their soccer balls floating in the sea. At the same time, Slim comes across a mobile phone in one of the bags. Shortly after, Georgie joins his teammate McKenna to inspect a woman's luggage. Recognizing this, Eva approaches and informs them that it belongs to her mom. Nearby, Felix steps in when he sees Patton pushing Doug for wearing their late teammate's jersey. Meanwhile, Andreas discovers a first aid kit and hands it to Connie. He then checks on Slim, who shows him a phone he found which he plans to activate so they can call for help. However, Andreas mentions that there are no cell towers around and urges the team captain to devise a plan, expressing concern about the group's current situation. In response, Slim, feeling offended, asks his teammate not to lecture him. Shortly afterward, he falls to the sand with a nosebleed, prompting the co-captain to get Connie's attention. As the trainer examines Slim, the other survivors gather around as he explains that the player might be experiencing decompression sickness. He advises everyone to stay hydrated and assigns Elena to watch over the unconscious man. On the second day, Andreas arranges the bottled water and food they found on the sand. Shortly after, Georgie approaches him to check the supplies, prompting his brother to admit they don't have enough. When his siblings attempt to touch the snacks, the co-captain reminds him that rules cannot be bent, not even for family. Meanwhile, three other survivors are at sea, attempting to retrieve some food. While the two dive to find more, they entrust the bags to Kenefic. Upon spotting a shark, the bench warmer releases the resources and swims away, leading Arnie and Marquise to follow and beat him up on the shore. However, despite Kenefic's claim about the shark, his teammates are skeptical. Witnessing the brawl, Andreas and the others rush to intervene. Upon learning about the issue, the co-captain penalizes Kenefic and Arnie by withholding food and water from them for the day. When his teammate dismisses him, Andreas points out they're still a team and must consider the group, not just themselves. On day four, Slim finally awakens after being unconscious for two days. When the team captain requests water, Georgie informs him that he needs to wait a few hours because Andreas has implemented rationing. When Andreas returns, he promptly embraces Slim and mentions their low water supply, expressing concern about their potential survival in the coming days. Despite his focus on survival, Survival, the team captain advises him to maintain a positive outlook until help arrives. However, the concerned man discusses the harsh reality that they might soon face the difficult choice between someone passing away or saving the team's resources. He clarifies that two survivors, Sevi and Stefan, are severely injured, and one of them may not survive much longer. Later in the airplane wreckage, Connie attempts to clean Sevi's leg injury. When Andreas hears that they need water, he interjects, apologizing to his injured teammate because they had agreed that that he wouldn't have any more 
until that night. Upon hearing this, Slim tells the trainer to use his share instead. Before the sun sets, the team captain attempts to operate the phone but fails due to the device's drained battery, causing him to feel a bit hopeless. That night, the survivors gather around the bonfire, and Andreas leads the discussion about letting Sevi and Stefan face their demise to conserve resources. Connie objects, but the co-captain points out that they're running low on water and someone has also been stealing food. When opinions are divided, Slim suggests that each member votes. Six members want to let the two wounded members out of the group, while the remaining half do not. With an even vote split, Andreas informs the team captain that his decision will be the final verdict, prompting him to vote yes. That night, Slim sits beside Elena, holding her late mom's bracelet. Upon hearing this, he attempts to put his arm around her for comfort, but she rejects him, stating it doesn't feel right. Meanwhile, one of the injured survivors, Stefan, breathes his final breath in the wreckage while Connie comforts him. On day six, Andreas informs Slim about their teammates passing. Felix then goes to the plane, retrieves the lifeless body, and buries it in the sand. Meanwhile, Georgie relieves himself in the woods when he notices an island in the middle of the sea. He promptly reports this to his brother, who plans to take Arnie, Marquise, and Elena to check if the place has food. The co-captain explains that he didn't bring Slim due to his recent coma and assigns Felix to support their team leader if they fail to return. After the group leaves, Eva enters the woods and notices a tree secreting a fluid. Felix then appears and explains that it's resin. They share a gaze, leading them to spend romantic time together in a cave. Meanwhile, Slim walks up to Connie, finding him alone on the edge of a cliff. Slim confides in him, expressing his worry that help might never arrive. In response, the trainer shares a more profound fear, admitting concern about not wanting to leave when it's all over. He then shows some berries but emphasizes that they're poisonous. During their conversation, Connie experiences a headache. Beside him, Slim reflects that he feels like he's in a nightmare and longs to wake up soon. The trainer agrees, leading the team captain to remind him to tell him once their awful dream is over. Slim stands up, but Connie's advice to sleep tight leaves him with an odd feeling. As he turns around, he discovers the trainer has fallen into the sea, bleeding revealing that he ate the berries as a way to end himself. Without hesitation, Slim leaps off the cliff, attempting to rescue him. But it's too late. Georgie and Doug discuss survival movies while carrying tree branches in the woods. Suddenly, Doug falls into a trap with barbed wire, sustaining an injury. Witnessing this, his teammate attempts to help him, despite the scary sight of a soldier's corpse beside them. After freeing Doug from the trap, Georgie walks back and inadvertently steps on a landmine, resulting in the loss of his lower legs. Upon hearing the explosion, Andreas and the others, who have just returned, rush to the scene. The co-captain promptly lifts his brother and calls for Connie, unaware that the trainer has passed away. That evening, the remaining survivors gather quietly around the bonfire, mourning the loss of their trainer. Suddenly, Felix stands up and suggests discussing food rationing again because of the unfortunate events. However, the co-captain interjects, stating that a decision has already been made and they must stick to it. As everyone attempts to sleep, Andreas holds the hand of his brother Georgie who's losing a significant amount of blood and struggling for his life. To end his suffering, the man Man reluctantly makes the difficult choice to strangle his sibling, unaware that Eva is watching from just behind the woods. The following day, he buries his sibling in the sand. On day 8, Eva proposes using the raft to create a condensation rig to address their water problem. However, they would need to cut the raft to implement this solution. Upon learning this, Patton and McKenna object, concerned that it would ruin their only means of leaving the island. However, Slim approves the idea, instructing them to proceed with the rig. On the other side of the island, Andreas plays soccer alone. When the ball rolls into the woods, he chases after it and breaks down, hugging it tightly as he mourns his brother's loss. Elena approaches him and offers comfort, leading to a steamy moment between them. Meanwhile, Patton and McKenna attempt to escape the island with a raft to prevent it from getting torn up. When Arnie spots this, he alerts everyone. The survivors then swim to reach the raft and intervene. However, the escapees only manage to hit them with a the paddle, causing them to retreat. Upon their return, to the island, Slim takes responsibility, admitting that it was his fault for allowing Eva to cut the raft. On day 9, the team captain notices Elena and Andreas together, sparking jealousy. Meanwhile, Kenefic ventures alone into the woods to eat in secret. When Arnie catches him, the benchwarmer lies, claiming he was just taking a dump. However, Arnie investigates the area and discovers their fellow survivor's food stash. He instructs Marquise and Doug to join him in chasing after the thief. Later, the trio drags the benchwarmer to the shore to beat him up. Witnessing the altercation, 
Felix and Slim intervene. However, an enraged Andreas attempts to attack, demanding that Kenefic return the other food he has stolen. Despite Felix restraining him, the co-captain breaks free and pulls the bench warmer's hair. When Slim attempts to calm him down, the man expresses his frustration, finding it unfair that Kenefic kept the food while they were all starving, especially considering the loss of his late brother. However, the bench warmer asserts that he's not the only one doing that. He then exposes Slim for giving his share to Sevi. Hearing this, Felix and Eva admit that they too took turns giving their wounded member their rations. When the furious Andreas tries to slit Kenefic Fick's throat, Slim intervenes, allowing the bench warmer to run and escape into the woods. As the team leader wrestles with his co-captain on the sand, Felix interferes, accidentally causing Andreas's weapon to stab his neck, leading to his demise. As the bleeding man falls into the water, Eva and Slim rush to him mourning his loss. That evening, the remaining survivors gather around the bonfire. Andreas then suggests going to the other island to start over and invites whoever wants to join him. Elena follows after the others stand up, leaving her sister behind. When Andreas states he'll take the supplies, the team captain suggests he only take half, and the co-captain agrees. The following day, Kenefic emerges from the woods and approaches Slim who informs him that only four people stayed. Later, while setting up bottles to catch water, the bench warmer confides in Eva that he felt guilty for not saving a man who was drowning in front of him during the crash. In response, the tearful woman suggests that perhaps they survived for a reason. Meanwhile, Andreas's team is occupied crafting their weapons on the other island while Slim focuses on trying to catch some fish for his groupmates. That evening, Sevi sits beside Slim and asks for food. The compassionate captain smiles and generously hands him his meal. Eva and Kenefic return to the woods the following day, amazed that their bottle caught some water. On the other hand, Andreas fails to secure food for his members. Suddenly, he sees Marquis teasing Elena, making him feel jealous. The next day, Slim wakes up and notices footprints on the sand, leading him to suspect that someone had passed through their area while they were sleeping. Upon checking their supplies, he discovers that their water bottles are empty. Worried, the team captain visits Andreas, advising him to join them if they want water and food. However, the man refuses but implies his team will play with him. Upon returning to the island, Slim shares the bad news with his members. Hearing this, Kenefic believes that he caused everything and thinks it's a good idea to go to the other island and fix everything personally. Later, while Elena is asleep, Arnie attempts to take advantage of her. To escape, she bites his finger and then flees into the woods, prompting the man to pursue her. Unfortunately, he catches up with her and pushes her head to the ground, causing the woman to lose consciousness. Doug witnesses is the incident, and Kenefic immediately runs away from them. Unable to catch him, Arnie convinces Doug that Kenefic is responsible for Elena's situation. That evening, the bench warmer reports to Slim that he saw the woman from the other camp no longer moving. The team captain swims to the other island and observes Andreas and the others surrounding Elena's motionless body. Arnie then places the blame on Kenefic for the incident. Shortly after they leave, the woman regains consciousness, and Slim comes out of his hiding place to assist her out of the woods. Meanwhile, Andreas Andreas's group heads to Slim's island. Not finding anyone there, they proceed to burn the other team members' tents and belongings. Simultaneously, the team captain quietly returns to the island with Elena, bringing her to a safe place. As Andreas's team searches the woods, Slim sneaks up on them but gets caught by Arnie. Marquise, aware that Arnie harmed Elena, helps the team captain escape. However, when Marquise is about to end Arnie, Doug intervenes, shooting his teammate and saving his friend. Slim then locates the rest of his team and leads them to a cave, where they strategize. The team captain emphasizes that they have no choice but to attack to survive. He instructs Kenefic to throw stones in the woods to trigger a landmine while Eva and Sevi take cover behind the rocks inside the cave. Upon hearing the landmine explosion, Arnie and Doug follow the sound and rush to the woods. There, the latter is left behind, allowing Slim to attack. The team captain then tightly squeezes his enemy's neck but later releases him. When Doug apologizes, Slim helps him get up and recruits him to his team. He then instructs him to retrieve Elena and bring her to the cave so she can reunite with her sister. Meanwhile, Kenefic reveals himself to Arnie and then leads him, running towards the cliff's edge setting the stage for Slim to attack from behind. As they fight, Arnie nearly falls and desperately clings to the team captain's arms to survive. However, the bench warmer intervenes, pulling the team captain back and causing their enemy to fall. When Doug takes the other survivors to the shore, Andreas suddenly appears and invites Elena to join him. However, Slim interrupts
interrupts and calls him from behind, leading them to engage in a close combat fight. The team captain manages to overpower his co-captain and punches him until he falls unconscious. Thinking he has won, Slim is surprised when Andrea suddenly rises and attacks him. As they strangle each other, a helicopter appears overhead. However, instead of staying for the rescue, Andreas flees into the woods. When Slim asks the rescuer how they found them, the man mentions that they located them through Patton and McKenna, who survived in a raft. Following the six survivors boarding of the helicopter, the pilot asks if anyone else remains. Instead of disclosing the truth, the team captain asserts that no one is left, leaving Andrea stranded on the island. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.